Hello, I'm Feathered Gaming, and welcome to another Minecraft episode. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install single player commands on the latest Minecraft launcher. Just before we get started, if you want a 24 7 affordable hosted Minecraft server, check out ServerMiner. I use them myself on my server, the customer support's great, prices are cheap and affordable, and I'm really happy with the server itself. If you're interested, just go to www.serverminer.com or the links in the description below. Now back into single player commands. The first thing to do is to make sure you have an unarchived program on your computer like WinRAR or 7-zip so it can open up certain files. If you don't, the link for WinRAR and 7-zips in the description below. Now we're going to have to go to the download page of single player commands and download the alternate file. Once it's done downloading, we're just going to drag it out of our downloads and onto our desktop. Now we're going to open the Minecraft launcher, and in the bottom left hand corner of the launcher, we can see a new profile and edit profile button. Now we're going to click on new profile and rename the profile to SPC and set the versions of Minecraft to 1.6.2. Now we need to launch the game, and then once it's launched, close it down. I'll just pause the video while it does this. Okay, so the game is launched and installed 1.6.2 files on our computer. The next thing to do is to open up a start menu, or if you're on a Windows 8 computer, open up the search bar like so and look up percent app data percent. Now we can see some folders and one's called .minecraft, we're going to go into that, then go into the folder versions. Now we can see a few folders including one named 1.6.2, we're going to copy and paste that folder, and now we're going to rename it to SPC. Now we're going to open it up and we can see two more folders, and we're going to rename them both to SPC as well. Now open the .json file with notepad and in the top left hand corner you can see 1.6.2. We're now going to rename this to SPC, then save and exit. Now we're going to open up the .jar file with an unarchiver program. I'm using WinRAR, but you can use a different one if you want. Now in here we can see lots of files and folders and we're going to need to find and delete the folder called meterinf because this folder causes us trouble when installing mods. Now that we've done that, we're going to open up single player commands file we downloaded earlier and copy all the files except world edit into the folder. If that doesn't work and it won't let you copy them, then extract the files from single player commands onto your desktop and then copy them from there. Now we're going to go back into our .minecraft folder and create a bin folder. If you already have one, don't worry. Now that we've created a bin folder, we're going to copy the world edit file inside here. Now we're not done just yet, we're now going to open the launcher and select SPC in the drop down in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Now we're going to choose edit profile and change the versions to release SPC. Now just before we continue, I'll explain how we can easily switch between 1.6.2 and the latest version of Minecraft. Now all you have to do is use this drop down menu to switch between the two. So now that's out of the way, we're going to launch the game with SPC selected and wait for it to load. Now that it's loaded, we can create a new world or join an old one. Now as you can see here, single player commands is working, and to test that world 8 is working, just go slash slash wand and you should get a wooden axe. If it's not working for you, there are a few things it could be, like you didn't delete the meter int folder, you have other mods that are conflicting with it, or you just didn't follow the instructions properly. If your problem has nothing to do with those three things, leave a comment letting me know and I'll try to get back to you. So that's it. Now if it worked for you or you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, comment and like because it would really help. I also want to give a big thanks to HD Video Camera Sunglasses for sponsoring me, as I've helped a lot by buying most of the stuff I require to make videos just like this. You can check out their products on their website and get a $15 discount if you use the coupon code FG2013. The link for their website is in the description below. If you want to know when I'm going to be uploading a video or what I'm working on, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links for those two things are in the description below. So once again, I'm Feathered Gaming, goodbye.